Hello everyone. So recently I got a question about this doubt and the doubt was that show that every bounded linear functional f on L2 can be expressed as f2 fx is equals to summation zeta j xi j where x is the sequence zeta j and z is the sequence xi j in L2. Right. So to solve this system what we to solve this equation what we had to do now see what we are given is f is a bounded linear functional right and f can be ex expressed as that means f has a representation so first click is we can see if it uh, have, uh, if uh, Reed's representation theorem is holding for it right so now the what is Reed's representation theorem for functional says that it says that now since l2 is an hilbert space right and f is a bounded linear functional so Reed's representation theorem for functional on hilbert space says that every bounded linear functional f right every bounded linear functional f on a hilbert space h can be represented in terms of inner product fx is equals to inner product x comma z right now we name it as equation one where fx now what we say is every bounded linear functional f on a hilbert space can be represented in the terms of fx is equals to in a product x comma z where this z jo hai, this depends on f is uniquely determined by f and norm of z is equals to norm of f right so first equation that we have is that fx can be written as in a product f x comma z now since l2 jo hai, that is in hilbert space and an inner product space right so for x and z belongings to l2 what we can say is that this inner product x comma z can be written as this because inner product on l2 is defined as right uh, just complex space agar ya l2 space lete hai to l2 space mein agar x aur y do elements hai given by y j y i laga lo and x is given by x i right so their inner product would be in a product x comma y can be written as this is summation x i into y i ka right so this is in a product x comma y correct so where this is i is equals to 1 to infinity right so therefore in a product x comma z can be written as summation zeta j xi j where x is zeta j and j is z is equals to xi j are in l2 right so from equation 1 and 2 what we can have is fx can be written as in a product x comma z and x comma z can be written as this summation so therefore fx can be written as this summation and doubt in this you can ask right now i hope this is clear for any further doubts you can always send the email to my contact information. The content information is already uh, have been uploaded, right? So any doubts, please ask.